Okay, we have a question here. Um, Neil Baudet from the Wall Street Journal. Um, Jeff, your your work with whooping cough is uh, uh, one of the many things you're doing away from the track, and I'm kind of curious as to what your um, uh, uh, long-range plan is for your career uh, aside from driving <clears throat> and, and racing. You're, you're part owner, but you mentioned uh, uh, the Clinton Global Initiative. I'm curious if you could articulate what your vision is for what you want to do long-term, what you're trying to build, what you're trying to accomplish. Oh, man, how long is this? Uh, pr how, how much time do I have in here? This, this could be a long day. Um, you know, I, I've, I've, as a race car driver, I can tell you that most of what I've done throughout my life has been instinctive uh, and taking advantage of opportunities when they came my way and tried to make good decisions um, with those those opportunities. And racing has certainly provided a tremendous uh, amount of, of, of opportunity that uh, has been very rewarding and fulfilling in my life. And so that's kind of where I'm at right now is, is that I know that I'm not on I, – I, I'm not – at the beginning of my career, I'm, I'm certainly closer to the end, and I'm not saying I'm 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 there yet, but I'm definitely closer to it. And you know, I've and and you're, I'm starting to build what that model is going to look like when when I'm no longer driving. And obviously, my foundation is very important to me, and the work that I'm doing uh, there. Uh, and 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 you know, my prim primary focus is pediatric cancer research, uh, and that's where my efforts are going to be driven uh, most of the time. But again, an opportunity comes up like the CGI uh, uh, trip to to the Congo, and and it opened my eyes up to you know things that are happening globally. So uh, we are also looking at some pediatric cancer uh, research and treatment. Uh, globally, which I'm um, hoping to go to R Rwanda with with that uh, in December. Um, but as a as an equity owner in Hendrick Motorsports, um, racing has always been uh, a part of my life, and I don't see how uh, when I'm no longer driving the car uh, that racing that I'll ever be a step away from it completely because I just love it. Uh, I'm I'm a fan of it. Uh, you know I'm I'm a partner you know with, with, with Rick uh, it's just it's I, I love the sport all forms of motorsports but particularly NASCAR so you know there's no doubt that that I want to be uh, uh, continue to be a part of it in a big way and and you know I can't really answer that question today uh, because because my main focus is on driving uh, but I've been fortunate again through an opportunity with Rick Hendrick to to be a bigger part of of our uh, organization than just a driver, and and you know we're we're talking about what that will be, you know in the in the future. You you started out as a driver. You're a driver, a part owner now. How do you want people to think of you? You know, ten, fifteen years from now, when when you have stopped driving, do you do you want that? Obviously, you don't want them to think like, uh, well, this guy's a a retired driver. They want you want them. People to think of you as, as something else. What is it that you? Well, want to I don't become? believe in retirement. To be honest with you, you know, I don't think there is such a thing as retirement. I think that um, you know, racing is always. It's going to be hard to top what I've done in racing, but I'll certainly try. Uh, you know, in 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 other ways, uh, because you know, I, I uh, when I get behind something, I try to do it a hundred percent, and and I want to be successful at it. Um, you know, and, and I want to make a difference, and and. You know, all I can say is that right now it's hard for me to really do the things I want to do um, with with the children's charities because because I am so limited on time. So w when I have more time, I would love to do more, and I think that I can make a bigger impact because uh, you know, right right now, um, you know, I, I feel like we're just scratching the surface with uh, a lot of the, the things as it relates to to children, and um, you know, whether it be something like uh, pertussis or or even the cancer uh, the pediatric cancer that that I've talked about um, but you know I uh, I, I think that I, I'm, I'm again I'm all racing is always going to be a part of my life and and so um, you know whatever I do within racing after driving uh, you know I, I, I want to certainly be as successful as I can at it 
and and bring what I've learned in my experience of all these years as a driver, uh, being knowing what the behind the scenes are with with Hendrick Motorsports that I've been able to experience and and you know play a role in hopefully making Hendrick Motorsports um, continue to be successful. Um, you know that, but I can't guarantee that's going to happen. I, I don't I don't know. You know I'm not. We haven't made all those decisions uh, yet, but but certainly I know that my work with uh, my foundation is going to increase in a big way when, when I'm not driving. I know that for a fact. Jeff, thank you for your time today, and thank you for all that you do. Uh, this is going to transition into Jeff's driver of uh, media availability. Um, Jeff currently sits seventh in points with two wins this season. Just give us a few comments on the season thus far and this close into the chase in Richmond. Yeah, I'm really excited to be back here in Michigan. Um, you know, it's one of my favorite tracks, always has been one of my favorite tracks. Uh, had an opportunity uh, with Chevrolet yesterday to go down to the Woodward uh, cruise, and, and that was awesome. Uh, you know, seeing all those old classic cars uh, and, and you know, just, just had a blast uh, waving the green flag for that, as well as seeing the future of, of cars uh, and, 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 and what Chevrolet has done for the last 100 years. So, um, because we, we got to wave the green flag to about 50 volts, Chevy volts that, uh, went down Woodward, which I don't know if they've ever had any electric cars going down Woodward. So it's pretty cool to hear the silence and then hear the rumble, uh, of the old classics. But, um, so this track means a lot to me. I know it means a lot to the manufacturers. And I feel like we really did not, uh, get the most out of our, of our, uh, team in our car the last time we were here and i feel like since then we've really uh we've really picked up our program uh as a team as as the cars uh how competitive they are and so i think this is uh you know hopefully the beginning of a of a fun weekend for us